At least six wildfires are still burning on Maui, but firefighters have made some progress in containing them. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal is joining us live in studio. We know that Jane, whenever there are big disasters elsewhere, folks in our area step up. They want to help support, and we're seeing that in this case as well. We have so many compassionate uh, Carolinians, Vanessa. Well, Taste of Hawaii is a veteran owned food truck in the Charlotte area that opened two years ago. The owners are constantly on the go uh, around the Charlotte Metro, but we did speak by phone earlier today about their efforts in trying to support people who are affected in Hawaii. Rodney Corpus and Robert Andrews say the need for their food truck came about after Rodney's Hawaiian mom, along with her home cooking, moved away. Maybe it's soul. I mean, that's like music, you know, that connects cultures from everywhere. They say part of having the food truck is to connect to local Hawaiians and share the culture with other North Carolinians. We have an incredible Hawaiian population in North Carolina, and they, and they come up to us. And, you know, Rodney's obviously from Hawaii, but they see me behind the grill, and they'll kind of raise the eyebrow at us and give us the questions like, I don't know if these guys are, are serious, you know what I mean? They, I don't know if, if this is if this is the real deal, but they always try us and they always walk back up and they always tell us like, yo, that's just like home. Now the island of Maui, where thousands of people call home, is decimated. It's a loss these guys can't help but feel half a world away. Yes, the first thing it's devastating to uh, people who already have hardship with how expensive it is to live out there. So them losing their jobs and properties doesn't, doesn't help with that at all. And, you know, I come from a farm, so I couldn't imagine our family losing our farm when I was out there. So they're doing what they can, posting on their social media their support for the Maui Strong Fund created by the nonprofit Hawaii Community Foundation. We've had our recent run-ins with insurance companies and and stuff with the trailer and trucks, and we can't imagine that anybody living over there or having jobs over there is going to have any easy time collecting anything from this. And we we don't want to see anybody removed from any more Native Hawaiians removed from their their land and their homes. Looking at those pictures, it looks like it's going to be a long time before they can see any sign of recovery. If you are in Lincolnton right now, they are actually set up there at Brick Tree Brewing until 9 tonight. And coming up at 6, we'll have more ways you can help. Vanessa? Looking forward to seeing that later report as well. Jane, thank you so much.